Here we'll look at a dissection of the pigeon. Our species is Columba livia domestica. We'll begin by looking at the external features, starting at the anterior of the animal and working our way back. Here we have the bill or beak, behind which is the sere. There's the eye, and to see the ear, you might need to remove some of the feathers. Those feathers are distinct to birds. We can see the wing of the animal as we work towards its posterior. We have the tail, and above the tail sits the feet that are covered in scales. We'll see this in another video, but there is the cloaca in this region here. Now to see the internal features of the pigeon, we're going to clear an area of the animal here of its feathers. Once those feathers are removed, you can more clearly see the area to be cut open to reveal the internal structures. With that space open, you can see how food travels from the bill down into that storage area of the crop, and you can see how the crop connects down to the gizzard. You can see the trachea in the specimen that connects to the lungs, the right atrium, the left atrium, and the ventricles of the heart. The pericardium is also present and slightly visible. We also have the brachiocephalic arteries of the heart, and we have the carotid artery, the axillary artery, and the pectoral artery. The jugular vein is also present and visible in blue. There are the lobes of the liver, and below that you can see the small intestines the contents of which empty through the colon and out through the cloaca. If we look in another view, we have the heart. The pericardium isn't as visible here. There are the lobes of the liver, and down to the side you can see the gizzard. In this specimen, the pancreas is clearly visible in the small intestines. Moving those small intestines out of the way, you can more clearly see the large intestine, the rectal cecum, and the colon, the contents of which empty through the cloaca. Another view, you can see the heart, the pericardium is very clear in this one, the liver lobes, and the gizzard is very nicely seen from this angle. Again, the small intestines and the pancreas are very visible as well. If we look at the heart again, we have the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. Again, we have that trachea that leads to the lungs. We have the brachiocephalic artery that leads off to the axillary artery. We have the brachiocephalic on the other side, and then the pectoral and the axillary arteries there. The jugular vein is also visible, and you can sort of see it below that area there. If we remove these structures, we can more clearly see the urogenital features. So here we have a male. We can see those rectal cecum, And moving that out of the way, you can see the testes of this male and the kidneys embedded in the back wall, body wall of the animal. If we look at the female, you can see the ovary with eggs in different stages of development. You can see the oviduct leading down, and this exits through the cloaca. Females only have their left ovary and oviduct.